I opened my eyes Then I saw something on the screen There were ponies bouncing over the TV Totally unbeknownst to me And was my little pony Reactors on the bus of land Reviewers working hard and it ends There were fan fiction and PNPs Even artists born as the eye could see How this happened? Why am I in here? What's my purpose in this place? Who's that coming? What am I here? As the hate approaches I go in high there's all sorts of bunnies who stand by my side So we love and tolerate Love and tolerate Love and tolerate Bronies out there We just love to stay in this love Whenever we can do it We love my little pony My little pony My little pony Hey everybody, I'm here at City Target in San Francisco. I got a $25 gift card, and let's go in to see what kind of toys they got on sale today. Here we are, at the pink aisle at Target. Here we go. Look at all the ponies! Woo! Okay. They have here basically the same exact toys that I reviewed, not reviewed, but I uh, talked about last time I was here in Target. And since I only got $25, my choice is very limited, which sucks. I mean, I would like to get something like this, but it's $28. So I'm thinking I should probably get... Chimely and DJ Pwn 3 for only $6.99 so that's about $7 plus tax that adds up about $13 so I can get these two yay what's this rainbow power that they have here that makes no sense to me it's just like Pinkie Pie dressed up with sparkles in her hair not even dressed I mean just Pinkie Pie in a comb there's other like Fluttershy, Rarity, and all that. 
I'm wondering, should I get one of these? The sparkly ponies. Only at Target. Or should I get one of these sets? Miniatures. Well, I'm fit. I'm decided that I'm gonna get Cheerily and DJ Pwn Three plushies. And I really wish I could get one of these, the Equestria Girls with the ponies, but they're twenty-six dollars. One dollar over than what I got. And these fashion and these fashion color your own ponies are way too expensive for me. Eighteen thirty-nine for one? That is an outrage. Gothic Pinkie Pie's Boutique? Really? Maybe I should get a Rainbow Dash, since I'm really short on the Rainbow Dashes. Should I get this Rainbow Dash? I mean, from the pa from the Rain- Power? Wait, what is that? Rainbow Power? On the back, it shows her covered in lightning bolts and all that. And, like, it says, Rainbow Dash loves adventure and always tries her best. Her rainbow hair sparkles. Really? They just added that, um... Like, what's it called? Tinsel to her hair. That really doesn't add anything. And they don't have the Pinkie Pie Boutique um, Rainbow Dash of these. I could try to get one of the new Crystal Ponies uh, fashion sets, but for $15, really? Okay, now I'm really fickled. I'm thinking I should probably give one of these up for one of these. Princess Cadence and Applejack or Princess Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow Dash. I have, I don't have any of the Princess Twilight Sparkles yet, and I don't even have a Princess Cadence. So, I'm kind of torn right now. Which one should I get? Well, since I need a new Rainbow Dash, I think I'll probably get the Twilight Sparkle Princess set. And I should probably get Cheerily. So that brings the balance to 15 plus 7, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. About $22. Okay, I finally made up my mind. I'm going to get DJ Pong 3 with Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow Dash. Let's go take them out to the counter. Don't worry, you won't have to. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> Do you need a bag? Uh, yes, please. And DJ Phone 3. Gift card. You have the link to thing? Yep. Oh! What? There was $25 on the gift okay, card. Okay, I know. Please sometimes bring it. There we go. <laughs> Had a little technical difficulties there. Yes, it'll tell you how much you got left. I got one ten left. Woo! Oh, All right. I knew I yes, please. Yeah. Alrighty, thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Let's go! Alright, so we finished shopping at Target. I got my Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow Dash set and DJ Pwn 3. One thing I wanted to tell you guys is that, um, sorry about the late upload for my commentary for episode 8, I believe, Bat. Um, I have it, like, rendering right now in the background while I record this on my laptop. Anyways, please go watch that. I'll have links to it right in the description. And thank you. Have a nice day, everyone. Peace. What? Empire bats will give you a fright. Eating apples both day and night. They rest for a minute, maybe three. Then they're eating every apple in your apple tree. Well, was this supposed to be the Halloween episode? They don't care about nada, not silch, no nothing. Except bringing about an orchard's destruction. No, wait just a minute, there's another side to this, and if I 
did not defend them, then I would be remiss. Mm -hmm. These bats are mamas and papas too. Oh. For the young, just like we ponies do. Oh. Give me a break, you're being too kind. These creatures have a one track mind. The orchard is not their restaurant. But do they ever think what others may want? No. They don't, and that is just a fact. These bats, they simply don't know how to act. That's where I have to disagree. They're loyal to their family, spreading seeds both far and wide. You see one coming, you better run okay. and hide. They're big and ugly. Whoa, and that hat makes up. Some of you would probably make it out to be right away. And I'm sure a lot of you, because I did this too, I'm sure a lot of you are probably carrying hate from the last seasons because you didn't like those, and honestly, I did not either. So, there have been four series, or generations as what some people would call it. The first one was kind of adventurous with dragons and orcs. It really was not that great. The second one was a high school drama of girls getting boyfriends and enough said. The third one, I don't even know. I just know it's sort of a combination of the last two, and it didn't work out so great. The version 3.5 was when they were little babies, and that didn't work out so great. Now, Generation 4 is what I'm talking about. Why is this one different? Well, it had good animations. The problems of the stories were very unique and very awesome. Each character had its very own unique uh, quali qualities and problems that they had to face. The lessons at the end were very good and very life uh, important. And soon the, the population of this series grew. Oh, shoot. I clicked back. All right. So, what is a brony? A brony is a word that was created by the fans of a combination of the words bro and pro pony equaling brony. This is normally given to them to men and teens who like the show. Their ages, their ages range from about 16 to 40, or sometimes even older. Some girls who are fans of the show also like to be called bronies, but some of them prefer Pegasus, which is Pegasus and sister. Now, how can, I, how can you become one, too? Well, I did some research, and there's about three different types. There's a minimal requirement where you just watch the first season, and you pick a favorite pony of the six. Uh, there's a standard brony, which they watch season two as well. They sometimes collect some of the action figures. Uh, you have to tell your friends about it, and of course you have to collect wear shirts about it, too. This isn't a good example. No, it's not. Mine's too small. This is mine. <laughs> and of course, you also have to collect the action figures. These are not mine. These are my sister's. This one's mine. <laughs> and more advanced brony is someone who watches the season three as well. No, not you. Someone who watches season three as well as a few other things. Oh, come on. Stop going back. Now, what is an advanced brony? Well, there's, three, there's about three different main types that I've seen. One, they can create music of their own creativity from, based on their love for the show. There's fan art, of course, and they make their own videos as well. Now, the music department, as I would call it, these guys watch the show, they can become inspired by characters or just something they found in it, and they decide to make a song from it. Some examples are Discord and 20% Cooler. The art department, 
These guys are inspired by the creativity and the animation of the series and put and make their own versions, like the one on the bottom. Or some people who like the series and want to make a combination of it, such as the Avengers picture up there. Now the film department, these guys are the most talented of the three, I believe. They go out and they make their own custom uh, stories and animations of the series. And they're really good. Like the top one, Snowdrop. That's about 15 minutes on YouTube. It's a very emotional story created by a fan. One on the bottom is more humorous about Fluffy Puff, which is an extremely fluffy pony, doing some adventures. And it's where there's some positives, there are also some negatives. And I've seen some of them, and they are questionable at best. <laughs> now, simple bronies. Well, these guys are basically your typical fans for anything. They would just go out, wear the merchandise, watch the series, collect ponies, whatever. And these guys also do something else unique. They name characters. These guys are all characters who just sit around in the background and do nothing. But they, they notice some of these guys and actually take the time to give them names, like Doctor Who's, Final Scratch, Octavia, Derpy, the list goes on, frankly. Now, with every series, with everything on the internet nowadays, there's going to be trolls and there's going to be haters. I'm sure a few of you are in here right now. Now, uh, why do they hate us? I honestly have no idea. Well, I went and I tried to do a little bit of research. Well, from what I, I came up with three main reasons. They either don't like it, because they think we're trying to enforce on their manhood, or something, I don't know. They hate it just because they don't like it, like from what they've seen from other series. And honestly, I was like that too. I mean, the other ones were terrible. Then I found this one and I thought it was quite interesting. Or, this is the most typical answer, they're just going to troll because they can't. I mean, who doesn't? Now, the very interesting thing about these fans is that they create their own little way of dealing with trolls. Like, most of the time, when someone's hating on what you like, you're going to hit them back. And then they're going to hit back at you, you're going to hit back at them, whatever. But these guys, um, from their love from the show, they create something what they call to love and tolerate. Which is actually a very good way to deal with them because a lot, and what I've found is that some uh, haters and trolls on the internet actually have something going on in their life. And seeing this, this actually is very good because this can get to them and then they'll draw them out in conversation, you'll find out there's something going on in their life and it actually works out for the best. Now. From what everything I've told you so far, from what I can see, you've got about two options here. One, you're going to completely ignore everything I've just said, which I'm sure most of you will do. You're going to go on with your lives, you're going to do your project, you're going to go home, you're going to do whatever that isn't my little pony. Or, you're going to go home, you're going to give it to your curiosity, and you're going to give the show a try, which I greatly encourage, because it's actually a really good show. Now, as Boromir says down here, one does not simply watch my little pony for a few minutes. And I'm serious, like, when I first saw it, I was just going to watch the first episode and see how it was. I couldn't stop there. I had to watch the second one, because it's a two-parter. And I had to watch the third one. <laughs> then I had to watch the fourth. Then I had to watch season two, and then season three. So, yeah, when he says you can't watch it for a few minutes, he's right. You can't. And I didn't. So, if you watch it, just be warned that when you do, you're not going to stop. And eventually, you may become a brony, too. And the only thing I can say is, if you do become a brony, welcome to the herd. <laughs> and that is all. <laughs> now some of you might see why I kept you in the dark so much with this one. Mrs. Chase, I can't go after that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't go after that. The shirt had to be the best thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pleasure. It's just awful. This is all shirt. I can't go after that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah like, uh, I didn't, it started recording for like 30 seconds at a time, so like it's 30 seconds. What? Are you serious? Oh, jeez. You can go home and watch my phone. You don't need this for Jake. I'm just going to keep recording. Nice. He's got an hour left. Are we still recording? No. Yes, we get a drink. She already knew. So you said, I think, that there was not enough that I could say via just Twitter words because it limits how much I can say. So I'm going to get back and respond and say, kind of show you instead of tell you. So let's put this into your words.
a bro first new watch is Milo Putty a Brony is an autistic man baby with a horse fetish. All right, but these are pretty much all your exact words. Now, now let's look around here, and I'll show you. This is my room. So, for example, first Halo Three poster, Fluttershy, Zombies, Legend of Zelda, ponies, ponies, right? Dragons, stuff like that, all around the room. None of this represents man baby. For example, list of for the most part rated M video games right along the wall, directly next to my laptop, directly next to ponies and a dragon. If any of this shows man babyism to you, let's look. Well, let's look at these. Well, there you can see my rainbow dash strip, the light, the cyan blue one. And, oh, let's see, look at this. Halo. 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 Somebody's a man baby doesn't play that. Xbox 360. Airsoft guns. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. A man baby cannot fire this thing. Right? A man baby is f mentally undeveloped. Mentally undeveloped. That's the proper word for it, I think, and, you know, employment application. Somebody who's mentally scarred does not read documentary type books, nor the crap load of other books that I have here. Alright? So that takes out your first thing, and there's no sign of any diapers whatsoever, so let's look. No diapers. No diapers. No diapers, and I think you get the gist of it. There's no diapers. So how does that make me a man baby? Right? I'm gonna try to cut this quick. Now let's look at your next thing. You said I'm autistic, right? Let's take a look. Sorry about the light here. This is our bathroom. You can see me better. Now let's go into my stuff in here. Show that autism. This is my stuff. Yeah. Shaving cream. Let's look at it. As you can see, contact stuff pretty much. This is old. This is the same thing as that. Now, as you can see, I'm going to cover up the date and stuff, but this is what's called Zoloft. And you can see down there, Zoloft. Actually, probably not. But what it does, this is not autism medicine. This is antidepressants because passed down on my father's side of my family, it's genetic. So I have these. Not based on whatever autism. Actually, to show you, there is no autism stuff. There's the crap load of my sister's stuff. But none of this is related whatsoever to autism. So that breaks the way you go. Thing of calling me autism. Now let's see. Once more, you claim that I have, because I watch the show, a horse fetish, right? That would probably be a little more apparent, considering what is around the room, right? Right, I think everybody can agree on that. Anybody who has a fetish for something would more than likely have evidence of it surrounding the room. I have a pony, right? Ponies, ponies, toy ponies, but you look at it this way. Ponies technically are, and you can see all my plastic ponies, they are technically not horses, but you consistently claim that they are and call them horses, right? So I see a little bit wrong with that, and I gotta put Twilight back on her stand. She has to be on there. I think this, you may have stopped watching the video or skipped a crap lot of it, I don't care, but I think I'm pretty proud of it. And if you're going to call me a man, maybe without any evidence whatsoever, I mean, look at this. And look at this. Rainbow Dash. And yet you're going to go ahead and call me a man, baby. With absolutely no evidence. So, thanks, you know. Because this is all totally evidence of a man, baby. So, yeah.